Hello there, this is Machi Machine Gun Chuck, or Bob, depends who you ask, and this is No Umbrellas Allowed. I still don't know why the game is called that way, but I guess we will figure it out. Uh, no, I'm not jobless, I am actually selling stuff. Just stand somewhere like you. Well, you you are you kind of look like Rick thro from Rick and Morty, but I don't know if that, that's intentional. But yeah, uh, we sold some stuff yesterday and learned some stuff too. I would recommend checking this out because, well, I am not good at doing recaps, <laughs> really. I either, I either make them too long or uh, too, too short and without details, so... Oh, by the way, you are actually properly textured and not just a grey person, so... Maybe you're somewhat uh, important. Okay. Do you have to fight when an AVAC man is, is coming your way? The bunker is only for the rich. <clears throat> so the rest will be fixies, whatever that means. Uh, I don't I don't know if I want to ride the bus or anything. Oh, it's this this same guy, huh? He's out here today again. Admi admire Professor Choi's courage. Okay, so he is this guy. Stop rebuilding the institute. We must keep Ajax City free, free, uh, safe from the fixer. Not gonna donate. Sorry. <laughs> like I have way to keep up the hard work, Bob. Will do. Hmm. Did he change? <laughs> the owner at Darcy's, that is. Did you forget to wash your face? You got sleep in your eyes, Bob. Maybe I didn't sleep well, you know. This is the association of victims of various crimes. So that's AVAC, I guess. Yes. Oh my, are you here to take him away? This must be a record. We've received a report about you from your niece, Nari Yo, or Joe. She said you're so obsessed with money and never looked after her. She also said she could prove it. To either pay the fine right now to prove your non-possession spirit, or get arrested for Avery's crime on the spot. That sounds quite oppressive. Hello, Darcy. I am in danger indeed. Your granddaughter reported your son for Avery's crime. <laughs> okay, so Jesus is a thing in this universe. Sen Gong or something. Miss Miss Gong, yeah, that's better. Because I, I really don't want to butcher all of these names. <laughs> Morning, hello. It's called New Bob B Pop. <laughs> okay, I do like that. Dear citizens of Ajax City, good morning from the Association of Victims of Avarice Crimes. They cut me off. Yeah, I would rather listen to you. Okay. Great. More propaganda. That's what I like. Since you haven't run away yet, now it's time for me to teach you how to check materials and damage levels. Okay. Okay. Still the same sample bag. It's in perfect condition, but before moving on to the next step, you should check for yourself by using a tool. Okay, nice. Appraising an item. Customers sometimes lie. It means you have to check each card carefully they show you. Scrutinize an item. Use the tools and the manual. Insert cards from the manual. Pull out cards and insert them in the card slot. If you are wrong, customers mostly turn it down. Alright, I guess. Let's see. How does that work? Okay, I have these two. Click the damage assessor and move it onto the back. It's in the second slot. Okay. Damage Assessor, measures damage level, magnifies texture. Okay, sounds good. So, for example, fake gold and stuff, I can check for that. Let's see. Uh, I wouldn't say it's not, yeah, it's not really perfect. And uh, can I, like, no, that's my inventory, because I don't know what I'm looking at really, you know? I mean, it seems... You see it's material up close, but you can't tell what exactly it is for now. Yeah, <laughs> might be lever, might be not. What are you made of? Okay, I guess it works only on the thing. Appraisal manual. The manual complements your knowledge and expertise. Use keyboard shortcuts to navigate efficiently. Okay, we will see if I will. 
index lets you move to each page. Texts is where you pull out cards from. Okay. I am already here. Find out which material looks closest to what you just saw on the magnifier. Uh, drag the one you found to the slot you'll be pulling out and pulling into. I would say it looks like leather indeed, like that. Cowhide. Seems like you weren't lying. That's it. Did you see the card and the price changing? Next, let's head to condition page from the manual list. Use the damage assessor again and decide which damage level it falls into. Okay, so you go in here, condition. Uh, let's see, I would say it's slightly damaged then, because it's not fairly, it's between fairly damaged and in perfect condition, so I would say it's slightly damaged. The cards in the slot are tagged to items and shared with customers as we put things on the showcase. To let customers know this item is worth this much. The cards have to be accurate and concrete to earn the trust of customers. And with the trust you will be able to sell more, so keep in mind to use the tools and the manual. Once a customer accepts a card you can't undo it. Which means you cannot remove or replace cards when the deal is closed. So don't lose focus during an appraisal, it's the only chance you can decide which card to tag onto an item. Okay, I think I'm not going to lie because now I see that the game is presenting me with an opportunity to lie during appraisals. Reputational card 2. This card gives you more advantages as your appraising skill improves. Customers will begin to buy items appraised by us without any doubt or even paying more. Okay, that's nice. I like that. It doesn't show up from the beginning, but right after appraising and purchasing. It's automatically attached to items after your appraising. Okay, I see. So it's la it can be either positive or negative, I presume. Already mentioned the card witness witness of Darcy. The two cards Hugh and I told you about are called reputational cards here. Index. Okay. Uh... These three cards indicate our store's reputation from three different views. These are special because they improve themselves along with you. Minus 50? What? <laughs> the better you get, the more effective each card will be. I guess that's for buying stuff, that's for selling. Writing of a bargain to your advantage or encouraging customers to buy. Each card shows its detailed effects. Okay. You can check the effects and the progressions of each card here. Okay, can I do that now? That's not mentioned yet. Okay, I don't care, I want to see the progress. Do we do we have even a progress? Not really. Okay, I know that you were saying something because I heard the dialogue box, but... Don't worry, I took care of that. That's good. They wanted you to either pay the fine or get fixed, huh? It might sound they are giving you a chance to make a choice, but they are not. The amount of fines is ridiculous and most people can't afford to pay it. AVAC wants nothing but to make more fixies, so try to not give them an excuse to get you. And please forgive my granddaughter Nari. She may look a bit selfishly, but she's just a poor little kid. Both her father and her uncle left town when she was so young. Moreover, her father is now a fixie. You can imagine what she's going through. I don't know what a fixie is. I would. They always blame the parents if things go bad. Anyway, I should leave now. Wish you good luck. I wish to know what a fixie is precisely. Is it like a zombie? Is it like a robot? And what's that? Darcy's 30 year secrets. Hello, what's up? You're Darcy's son, the one... Yeah, of course, I guess. What do you have? A book. FYI, no signature here. Where's my money? By Suja Choi. Or Suya Choi. 20. Uh, maybe. Let me just check it quickly. And what's that thing? Seems like wo like the, that. Like wood. Is it wood? Thing or, or maybe like that. <laughs> Thankfully, I don't really have to well think about that. Let's try to wooden. I think it's wooden. I don't think it's like no. It's definitely not. Platinum and surgery. No, no, no. Paper. I didn't even look at paper actually. Is it just paper? Yeah, of course it's paper. It's made of paper. Yeah, I know. 
<laughs> okay. But, okay, you are saying it's fairly damaged, which is right. Okay, so if it's in there, I don't really have to do that. Not going to say it's potential garbage. Okay, uh, where's my money? I am willing to give you... You, like, told me 20. I will give you 13. How about that? You'll give me more than that. Am I wrong? Mm, 14. But I need more. Okay, sir, maybe just go with a counter offer. Because if you won't, then I don't really need you in my store. I will give you 15, that's my last offer. How many more times should we repeat this? Why don't we just stop here? Sure, get out. Like, the man didn't even place a counter offer. I would like to buy the Hue doll over there. How much is it? It's 60. That's quite much for this. In my opinion, 39V is right. Well, it's appraised as more, you know. I can't use that, can I? No. But we knew it was Velvet already. But it's actually not fairly damaged. I would say it's slightly damaged, but we can't change that because we didn't have the tools necessary for that. Okay, it's appraised at 46, so you are... That's the lowest point. Uh, we said that it was for 60, 139, 50. Okay, so I, I guess I can't really... I can't counter offer. In that case, I will decline. I do believe that, you know... Well, it was. It was like below appraisal and you know I'm the pawn shop here I am doing this what you just tried to do just an ordinary bracelet well it's silver you know it's not bad is it truly sir silver I mean it appears to be doesn't it and there isn't anything that would look similar to silver but not be silver so I guess that you are in fact, not lying. Let's see how damaged it is. Well, you know, it's... I would say it's fairly damaged. <laughs> but can't we let it pass as slightly damaged? Slightly damaged? No can do. Okay, sure. Uh, no. No, dude. Like, it's on point fairly damaged. Sorry. Slightly damaged, no can do. You're making me nervous, Bob. It's a relief, you know, you shouldn't compromise on condition. Don't worry. Okay, now that changes things, doesn't it? Okay, I am willing to give you, like, 30 for that. And I think you should be grateful. Mm, yeah. Would you please make me a higher offer than that? I'm willing to go 35. No problem. But, you know, then why why try to lie to me? Uh, let's place it on the thing, I guess. Oh yeah, these are sold. Let's get the sold ones out and let's get the unsold ones in. Appraised 48, bought 35. Let's make it 60. Or maybe let's not be as rough. Let's make it 56. Uh, I would like this trophy to go. I, w I, re I really would, but so far not happening. Somebody came in. Oh, it's you. Okay, hello. How could you report new Bob to the Ava Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what garbage did you carry here? Nah, I won't let you. Come on. Now take a look at this. Never seen such an amazing painting, have you? I don't know. Canvas. Okay. In perfect condition. And it is pretty cool. 
I like that. You can take this for free. I <laughs> turned on. <laughs> At least you got an eye for painting. Okay, that's weird. I'm not going to sell that because, well, you know, I, I don't feel like selling it to the artwork. I would like to buy the Hugh doll over there. 60. It's more expensive than new ones, but I'll take it. I've been looking for this. Wonderful. It's nice that, nice that we got the painting from Nori, who seems to be kind of like, you know, show me a silver bra bracelet without any decoration. She's asking for a recommendation. In this case, find if the item that meets her requirements is in the inventory next. Take it out from the inventory and put it on the table. The customer will ask you the price. That's when you can speak out how much you want. If the customer is looking for an item that you don't have or don't want to sell, just press the button decline. Okay. Then I'll repeat. I would like to know if you have any silver bracelet. Sure, I do, actually. How much is it? Well, it's 48. That's how we appraised it. But I don't remember... Ah, yes, now I remember. I think it was 56. Let's make it 60. Oh, yeah, that's good. Wonderful. <laughs> good. Profit. But yeah, about the painting, I, I don't feel like selling the painting at the pawn shop, you know, it's a gift and I'm kind of like her uncle. Do you have paintings too? Are you looking for paintings? Here, take it. I'll give it to you for, 400, for 450v, see? This is how you do business, Bob. <laughs> Let me show you my painting tomorrow, you may even cry seeing it. Okay, you look like Bob Ross, kind of. I, I, I'm sure that's a homage. Or maybe it's not, maybe, you know, that's just how painters in in media look because of Bob Ross, I don't know. I would like to buy the trophy, how much is it? It's only 60v. Wonderful. So I am guessing that we got some progress on the witness. On appraising, on, on, on whatever. Okay, somebody's speaking, let's... Oh, not what I wanted to click. Okay, your ex gave you socks that are fairly damaged. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I want this. That's cotton. Really, I had no idea at all. Thanks, no problem. And I would say they are fairly damaged. Well, no, I would... Or maybe they are slightly damaged gray area. I don't want your socks. Especially that they were used. No, I'm not going to buy your socks, man. Sorry. It, I mean, I would, I would consider them being fairly damaged more than slightly damaged. You know what? I will take your socks after a brief uh, thinking for 11. Because I hope that it will maybe advance this, because I don't really know how it works. Just that one of this place always looks like Janok of Sing Sing, you know? Gizmo. A platinum gizmo. Small but powerful. Well, let's see. It would be... Uh, fairly damaged. I would say it's fairly damaged, man. Well, no, that's my job. Not going to, you know, get scammed on, on the condition of something. And it does seem to be surgical steel, not platinum. Because platinum would be that, and that's not it. Yeah. Well, I'm not an expert. Well, but I have the tools now. Suddenly your CDD recorder doesn't look so hot. Uh, I will give you, like, 35 for that. Okay, so you want precisely the appraisal. I don't want precisely the appraisal, because in principle that's how much I would sell it for. Although, I don't do that. <laughs> I am going to give you 42.
I lost one last time. How about 44? Accept. Sure. Okay. Now let's place the socks here. Ah, yeah. These these things are sold now, and this is sold now. So I don't know. I don't feel good with selling that. I think we will place this here and special price 54. And now this is still on sale. This. Bought for 11, appraised 19, let's try to sell it for 25. These are quite expensive socks, I know, but you know, maybe they are a luxury in this place. You know, it's cotton, it's actually real cotton. The newspaper, it's 18. I bought it for 7. That's too much for a used one, but okay, it's hard to get new things these days. Well, yeah, it's 15 years old or something, or was it not this one? But, you know, still. I'm guessing we are getting some some of that. Hello, miss. So you're the devoted son who came back giving up his life in Bluebird. Yeah, I guess. Pencil case breathing like a fish. <laughs> I am fish, okay? I expect more stuff to be on the showcase, by the way. Well, things are getting sold. I'm just good, too good of a salesman, sorry. You... Maybe. It is slightly damaged, I will give you that. And it's made of velvet, which you already know. And you want... how much? 52. I, I mean, it's fair. It's a fair offer. They probably would offer you something around 45, though. But then I would actually... you know what, let's just take it. Don't worry about it. It's velvet, it is slightly damaged, but it looks fine. And I think we will get that. Uh, praised uh, 73, we will try to sell it for 82. It still will be quite a big, big, uh, you know, margin, I would say. Dear citizens, the association of AVEC, okay, the day is at an end. As we informed you yesterday, it will rain this evening. We would also like to inform you that the rain today is not fixed or rain, but just rain. But as you know, no umbrellas are allowed. Thanks for your cooperations. Cooperation. Well, you may get soaked up to the bone. Okay, but at least I don't. I, I won't become a zombie or whatever people become because of this. No, no, relax. This is just ordinary rain. So I, I am guessing that the things are not allowed, the umbrellas are not allowed because the fixer rain somehow messes with people's minds or something. Now, I think we have plenty of time still. It would be a really quick episode if we just ended here. So I think I will just look around. Well, everything is close already, I guess. I guess you can only make these things in... Uh, in the morning before the before job before working so why can't we just use umbrellas it's not fixer rain anyway tell avac they want us to practice getting soaked in rain so i i am uh support the avac i do wonder what happens if you do just dump your money into there fixer cannot save us i don't know what fixer is dude I don't think they brought it up. What if I take a bus? Fancy. What if the rain is fixer rain? No way, Eva can't be lying. Move to mind less so. Oh, that's a nice thing. I want it to stop. People don't like rain, huh? I mean, if rain brainwashed me, I wouldn't like it either, or neither, neither? Oh, I'm not sure. But hey, Darcy was there. And then mask them to rain like this, except on us. <laughs> okay, I am going to call it a day. So, how was our day? 157 this time. Nice. Well, it was still so cheap and we made a lot more from the common silver bracelet, but it's nice. 
Okay, now, so far we have pretty good margins, I would say. Like, if your worst deal of the day is 71%, then I guess that's good. Uh, Darcy's granddaughter tried to make me get arrested, but Darcy dealt with it. Nari gave me her painting for free. A strange young man said Nari's painting wasn't really good. Paid 15v interest to Darcy. Total interest paid 15v. Okay, well, let's go to sleep then. Actually, maybe it will be good that I will have some shorter episodes on the channel, because so far everything I do is pretty long, like Slay the Spire and the streams. So this will be quite a difference, as well. also it will be pretty chill, because the game is chill, you just, you know, sit and talk and sell stuff, and it's pretty nice. Okay, then I guess that will be it for today, and I will be seeing you next time when we will be bargaining some more. See you around!